look at making a dichotomous key that we could use to identify species of aliens. There's no right way to do this. Uh, lots of different keys could identify these organisms for us. But we start by dividing them into two groups. And I could divide them into two groups on the basis of color. I could do it on the number of eyes. I'm going to do it based on whether they have legs or not. So I'm going to divide the ones that don't have legs from the ones that do have legs. And these will be my first two choices on my dichotomous key. So the first thing I've done is to divide those without legs from those with legs. I'm then going to direct the user of my key to another number to further divide each group. So this first group, I'll tell my user to go to number two. Be sure that you send them to two, not 2A, not 2B. We're just going to number two, where we'll have instructions on how to further divide these. For the rest of them, I'm going to need to jump to number five. I have four organisms here. I'm going to need one fewer choice than I have organisms. I'm going to need three more choices. So I'm going to go from two with an additional three, and I'm going to tell my user to go to five. Now I'm ready to look at two. I need to figure out a way to subdivide these by looking for characteristics that two of them share. I could do it by color, green or not green, but I'm going to do it by eyes, one-eyed or more than one eye. So two has divided those with one eye from those with more than one eye. At three, I need to distinguish between those that have one eye. Normally I would give the name of the species here. I don't want to come up with names for these guys, so I'll just put their picture here. But if it's pink, we've uniquely identified that species. If it's green, we've identified our other species. Now we need to identify these two. And again, there's no right way to do this. I could do this by color. I could do this by shape. I'm going to do it by the number of eyes. All of these have now been uniquely identified. So now I need to go on to five and figure out a way to subdivide these remaining species. I'm going to do it I can do it in lots of different ways, but I think I'm going to look at eyes on stalks versus eyes that are not on stalks. So I now have them divided into two groups. I'll go to six to further identify these. There's two here, two minus, one is one, so I need to go one further to identify all of these. So let's start at six. I could maybe use color or number of eyes to distinguish between these two. So I now have these two uniquely identified and I'm ready to go on to the rest. Notice that I don't have every green alien here in this category. To get to six, I first had to choose legs then I had to choose eyes on head. So it's only the green one that has both legs and eyes directly on its head that ends up here. And it is uniquely identified, even though we do have some other green aliens. Okay, I could divide these up by color. I could divide them up by number of eyes. I think I'm going to divide them up based on whether or not they have arms. So again, I have these divided up into two groups, and then I'll go to another number to divide them up further. When you're doing a key to your organisms, it might be helpful to just list characteristics and then look for ones that can divide them up into 
two groups and then divide those up into two groups and so on. All right, I'm going to then use color as a way to distinguish these two. And the key becomes easier as we go along. We now have these two uniquely identified. Notice that we have green again, but we've gotten here in a different pathway, so we won't be confused. We're never going to jump directly to green. We're going to have to choose legs and then eyes on the head or eyes on the stalk, so we will distinguish between those two. Lastly, I can use the number of legs to distinguish between these two. So I now have a dichotomous key that I could use to identify these alien species. My key could then be used by someone else to classify a new alien. I would go through the choices. I have legs, so I jump to number five. My eyes are on my head, so I jump to number six. This guy is green, so I would classify it 